what do I do if my velocity has plateaued for X amount of months? That's the question. Yes. Let's dive in. Whoa, bug. All right. Say you're, you know, say you're at 80 miles an hour and um, you've been at 80 for X amount of months and you're trying to get to just like 82, 83, 84, whatever it is. So um, basically there's multiple ways to look at this, but what I wanna talk about is looking at velocity not in a linear progression. So I think it was Driveline that may created a really good piece on the topic of velocity not being a linear progression. And I know how it is, especially in the society that we live in today and being a product of our environment, we're so used to instant gratification. If we want something, we go to Amazon Prime and get it in two days. Or, you know, we want something, we go to a fast food place and it's ready like this. Like we, we are a product of an environment that is instant gratification. And when it comes to velocity and when it comes to just like baseball development in general, um, it's not that way. There's no instant gratification. There's no, you know, throw hard, quick schemes. There's, there's none of that. It's hard work. It's dedication. It's doing the right things, checking the right boxes. Um, you know, being intentional, all of those things, man, that, that, that go into it are crucial, crucial for you in, in your development phase, especially, you know, if you're someone in that age where you're hitting puberty and you're growing and all of these things, you know, weird things are happening to your body. Um, you know, that's, that's where it gets crucial. But the, like I said, the first piece that I wanted to talk about was the fact that you can't get discouraged. You can't mentally, um, check out, you can't mentally think, okay, well, if I've been at this for, you know, two months or three months, um, I'm just done. I'm giving it up. Like, I'm just not going to throw hard. See, that's a really tough way to look at it because you might make one click, you know, in the next two days and it's like, boom, it skyrockets. And then maybe it goes back down. Maybe it goes back up. Like it's so unpredictable, but all that you can do on your end is control the controllables, check the right boxes. And, and anytime I say check the right boxes, what I mean by that is, is making sure that you're doing the right things. You have like a list of potential things that you know work for you and you know that will help put you in the best possible position to be successful. You got to check those boxes day in and day out, you know, make it to where at the end of the day, when you look in the mirror and you got to ask yourself that question of, did I do everything in my power today to be better than I was yesterday? and that's on you. So don't get discouraged, but you know, work hard. And then the next piece is obviously a little bit more instructional in the sense of, you know, you gotta be understanding what works and what doesn't. And that's gonna be different for every single guy that touches this baseball. You know what I mean? Like um, I've played with plenty of dudes throughout my career that are drastically different in their approach and their training in their nutrition, like all of these things in life that are drastically different than I am, but maybe they, you know, throw a hundred and they do X, Y, and Z differently. It's about identifying what works for you and what doesn't. I was able to identify what doesn't work for me at a, at a pretty early age and at a pretty early stage in my development when I was in a certain organization that didn't allow me to, you know, long toss, didn't allow me to throw a certain way or just, you know, having restrictions. And I learned essentially the hard way because I ended up getting released that there was a specific way that I was not to go about my development. And I, and I had to learn that. And ever since I learned that I was able to grow from that. So it's all about that process. And that's why I always use the word intentional because, you know, even if you're 13, 14, 15, if you're an aspiring, you know, next level baseball player, these are some of the things that you got to start thinking about as far as understanding what's working and what doesn't, you know, if your velocity or if your arm strength or your long toss distance or your pull down velo or, you know, all of these other performance related metrics aren't improving in a matter of months, years then you got to look at your approach to it. You got to look at your training. You got to look at your habits. You got to look at your work ethic. You got to look at the types of protocols that you're putting in place. There's a, there's a huge, you know, a huge picture to that, that you need to maybe adjust. So that's what I wanted to talk about. Those, those two dynamics, hopefully you could take something from that, but that is my response. Subscribe to the YouTube.
and follow me on Instagram, follow me on TikTok, follow me on Twitter, go to my website. All of those things provided probably in like a caption or description below. Rake Baseball Company, shout out.